<clears throat> Hi everyone, okay, this is Jack, and I'm speaking about depression. Depression. It's like a nostalgia, a tiredness, a... I mean, sometimes it's so bad that human beings just... It, it kind of, it seeps right through into your bones. And it's so you just, walking becomes difficult, speaking becomes difficult, trying to experience some form of life is difficult. Participating in this world is difficult. Okay, so depression is where... Instead of mind consciousness systems being used to take over, energy is used to take over, which is called depression, which comes in the form of depression. Now, depression usually in terms of human beings who experienced it was specifically, of course, pre-programmed because human beings' lives are pre-programmed in this world. So depression was interesting. It was like this, this liquid. It, it looked like a liquid energy that was, that was injected into human beings' entire human physical body, straight down into the core of them as a human physical body, um, that, that kind of slowed everything down within the human physical body, like completely, totally suppressing all of the being in their entirety. Now, firstly, they usually use this, um, it's like a form of a liquid, um, but it's not really, but dimension, it, look like, it looks like a liquid energy um, that used to inject it, you know, there was like a system placement at the back here, if you take your neck from your shoulders, just right there in the center between your little wings, right there, right on your spine. There was like that system placement within there. Bino you know, explains it in a structural resonance where they would inject whatever necessary within human beings if they either did upgrades or um, if they wanted to insert implants, etc., etc., etc. So from there they'd inject this um, liquid sound placement within human beings' physical bodies. Now usually it was used to extract human beings until they find it actually suppresses even the systems within human beings. And uh, then they just used it for another form of making sure human beings don't stand up within, yourself, within themselves. That's usually um, human beings who commit suicide. That stuff was usually injected within them. Um, and actually all of them. Each and every single suicide that ever occurred was because of that. And the being would kind of go crazy for a moment. Not crazy, but they won't know what it is that they're actually doing. They won't be able to explain their depression to you. Um, they won't be able to communicate. They're almost like they're not here at all, you know. Um, there are some that are extensively bad, but, you know, you have those that kind of are able to pull through it. God, if there's anyone that is depressed and use medication... Don't. Don't. The medication actually support. Now, what happens is the following. That liquid that was injected when you experience depression, okay? When medication is used for depression, the medication connects the relationship between the, the, that sound liquid form with this mind consciousness system within you, forming a relationship. So then this depression actually starts forming a system inside you. And that's exactly what... Um, um, what do they call it, the dimensional beings wanted to have be done. Medication help with the formation of consciousness systems inside human beings. Well, I suggest you go rather a natural route, which is homeopathy. Um, so, when, the, when people that are depressive use medication, they're, they're forming a relationship with this liquid and with the mind consciousness system and forming a system of this liquid inside the human physical body. So, um, but though we've removed that as 
much as we're able to, though the problem is, is that when human beings have gone and defined who they are according to this depression, then you're going to have to walk through this depression through forgiveness, through actually, through forgiveness, through um, self-communication, self-intimacy, self-honesty, etc. Self-forgiveness, self-participation, self-application. You're going to have to do forgiveness with corrective application. And, you know, we're here to assist you. So, depression is another statement I have, is not who you are at all. Realize that. If you realize that it's not who you are, you'll make it so much more simpler for yourself to be able to stand up from within it. And if you're angry because of it, use that anger to say, till here no further to the depression, but don't divert that anger to you, ever. Your, your means, be careful of that. You know, in terms of what we're, what's being said here, don't divert the anger to you or anywhere else. Use that anger you experience to stop these systems within you, to stop the effects of the systems, to stop the definition of the systems, to stop the experience the systems have over you, of you, that you've allowed. You know, just to go to here no further. I don't accept this. This is not who I am. I am here. I am present. And it's like you lift yourself within yourself, you know. from It's like from the bottom here of your spine, you start just standing up from there, and you lift yourself, and you go, oh, I'm here. And so you continue. So human beings, the experience of depression is not who you are. Stop it. Say, I don't accept this and I don't allow this. This is not who I am. Thank you very much.